Hello everyone, this is Angie from the Right Away Coaching Team and this time I've decided to do an audio video because I admit I'm one of those scruffy, unkempt riders that just roam around the house all day in their pyjamas, <laughs> you know, um, and constantly in between writing and procrastinating and I'm not always in a mood of, you know, just smothering myself with makeup and sitting in front of a camera. So that's the honest truth. But I do have um, some invaluable tips to give you today in regards to what you can do this year and how you can get some serious writing done. Now, most of us, you know, come New Year's Day, we're all in this New Year's resolution mentality, uh, thinking that we can set goals that we'll actually adhere to for the rest of the, the year. And the rest of the year is 12 whole months. So... It's not particularly easy to stick to those goals and what I want to talk to you about today is how you can actually get some real writing done in 2013 especially if you're writing a book like a novel or an ebook um, fiction or non-fiction and how you can stick to those goals that you'll be setting so let's just be honest here most writers fail at setting goals you know we're terrible at setting goals because you know um, if you've seen my video uh, should I set a schedule to write then you'll instantaneously figure that out you'll figure out that the answer is inspiration inspiration is a really tricky thing you never know when it's coming you never know when you can you know implement it and get some real writing done and you never know when it's just gonna sit around in your brain and not really get onto paper so inspiration is something that you should look into first are you a person that does get inspired easily or do you need a whole bunch of notes and outlines and you know mapping out just to be able to get in the mood to write because each writer is a totally different being what I suggest is that everyone, each and every one of us, should have outlines to what they want to write before actually putting pen to paper. Then again, um, I myself tend to write down stuff without having outlines, so it's, it's really, really difficult to pinpoint because everyone is totally different. You know, one writer is totally different to another. So let's just have a look at a few tips that I have to offer you and you can sort out things yourself. You can pick what works for you and just go from there. Now my first tip is don't write goals, okay? Don't write goals. Instead, write an outline for the book that you want to complete this year. Now what is an outline? An outline, a basic outline in this case, is just writing down your chapters and maybe um, a small you know brief summary per chapter now it is quite difficult to do that it's not the easiest thing and a lot of us tend to improvise along the way and you know you end up omitting chapters that you thought you'd be writing about and you end up adding other ones that you had never seen coming so Outlining is a tricky process, but it's good to have a basic outline when you're first starting off. So um, if you're writing fiction, this may be a bit harder. If you're writing non-fiction, this will most likely be easier to do. My second tip is to set weekly or monthly schedules. For instance, you can just generically state that you'll be sitting your butt down for three times a week or 12 times a month right and writing those days or you can set um, the pages the number of pages that you want to write in those months or the word count so you do have <clears throat> sorry you do have um, a variety of schedule setting techniques to choose from uh, I tend to let me just explain this. I tend to have monthly schedules, like I do have a monthly calendar um, onto which I write what I want to do per month. For instance, let's say in May, I want to have completed 
um, one of my science fiction novels. And in, let's say, December, I want to have completed uh, an ebook of mine. So I jot down those just kind of randomly. Like I may pick a date, could be, for example, the first week of April. You know, I won't designate the exact date. I'll just say the first week of April, I want to start writing this book. So those are just, you know, brief little goals, brief sentences that just, that you just jot down on your calendar or on your, um, in your organizer or agenda or whatever you have. And you just go back to those each month. You know, that, that may be a bit weird because you may have totally changed your, your mindset by then. You may have totally new goals. You know, the biggest lie about New Year resolutions is that everyone thinks that they know what they want to do on New Year's Day for the rest of the year. You know, it's not like that. You may have um, an aha moment somewhere in May and just totally change your goals. So you, you never really know what will come to you in the future. So that's my second tip uh, regarding weekly and monthly schedules. And now the third tip, this is a little tricky. Um, once you already have jotted down your weekly and monthly goals and have done some outlining uh, for your book or books, <laughs> um, you can just draw a long straight line and pop in the alternatives to those schedules and goals because we all know that sometimes we tend to want to write something else and we leave aside whatever it is we've been scheduling and inspiration takes us to a totally new direction and that's happened to me on many occasions um, for instance I'll, I'll give you an example um, I was supposed to be writing a science fiction novel since let's see November October or November and my goal was to finish it in May and guess what I haven't written a page in oh, let's say two months yeah I've only got like two chapters and I haven't written a single page more than that so what I've done is drawn a line and written my alternatives next to that and my alternatives in my case in particular are always fantasy epic fantasy sword and sorcery that's what I write that's what I've been writing for most of my life science fiction is something that comes and goes for me so when I'm not in the mood to write science fiction I've got my fantasy thing going on and all of a sudden I was inspired uh, about a month ago to start writing a fantasy book one of the books that wasn't on my schedule to write and I just went with that and I'm you know outlining and keeping notes and creating maps and character sheets for for that now and it's really um, overwhelming but in a good way so always have those alternatives somewhere in the back of your head or you know jot it down on paper and if you don't know what those alternatives are, just generically state what you should be doing at that time if you're not completing your book. Because time can be wasted really easily. And if you want to be a consistent writer and to make a living from your writing, you have to persuade yourself to write every single day. And if it's not every single day, then just you know go with your weekly or monthly schedule if you're not in the mood to write that book then write something else jot down an alternative like stick to writing 4,000 words this week okay they might not be the 4,000 words that you wanted to add to your novel or your book or your ebook or whatever but there's still 4,000 words that you can somehow exploit and use and utilize somewhere else. Maybe they can end up becoming blog posts or articles, or maybe they can end up becoming short stories. 
you know, there, there's still 4,000 words there. You know, you, you can make something of them. So always have alternatives when it comes to writing. Don't procrastinate. You may leave something aside. You may leave your manuscript aside, but always write something else to substitute the time and the effort. So let's just have another brief look at the three tips. First tip, don't write goals. Instead, write an outline for the book you want to complete. Tip number two, set weekly or monthly schedules. And tip number three, pick alternatives for those schedules. So those are my tips for now. I'd like to wish you all a happy 2013, a prosperous new year filled with writing and inspiration.